Hey guys, it's Katie, and I'm here today to do the weather book tag. I was tagged by Kara at Wild Book Garden, and this is a really interesting and unusual tag, and so I'm really excited to do this. So without it, without further ado, let's get into the questions. Number one, what books remind you of this weather, and which book do you like to read in that kind of weather the most? And then it lists five different types of weather and so you just have to say you know your favorite book or i guess types of books that you'd like to read um and so the first one is rainy and the book that i picked for this is the bones of you forget the author so i'll just put her name in the video but it's a romance novel it's an lgbt romance novel about two boys that dated in i think college or high school and then they broke up and it's kind of about second chances the first well a large chunk of it takes place in england and there are lots of fun and really amusing side characters that you just can't help but fall in love with Whereas another part of the book takes place in New York, I believe it is. And it's just kind of about how these two boys find their way back to each other. And I just remember the first time I read it, I read it when it was pouring outside, early May. It was pouring outside and everything was so green and spectacular. And I just, it just reminded me so much of England. I was so immersed in the story. I just couldn't put it down. And so, I just have very, very fond memories of reading that book in the rain. But that said, there are a lot of books that I read during rainy weather because it's just the kind of weather where you just want to sit and with a cup of tea by a window and just look outside at how green everything is and read a book and immerse yourself. And so I just, I love reading in rainy weather. Second, weather is hot and sunny and for this i put a couple of different things i put like ya but i also particularly put harry potter because i just have super fond memories of reading the books which is when a lot of them came out at the end of july beginning of august in hot sunny weather um and so i just have particularly fond memories of order of the phoenix um, I remember I woke up one morning, I think it was like 8 or 8.30, and I picked up um, Order of the Phoenix, which was on my bedside table, and I opened my shade, and it was super sunny outside, and it looked spectacularly warm, and I just sat in my bed, and I read Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix, and so that was just a spectacular memory for me. Um, but another book I'm going to pick for this is The She, The Heart of All Worlds, which is by Charlotte Ashe. And you guys have probably heard me reference this book or this trilogy in another vi other videos. She follows the, it's another LGBT kind of relationship, but it's fantasy, about a man named Breeden and a she, which is an elf-like creature from kind of Celtic mythology, named Ceres. And Ceres is in captivity. She are used as sex slaves in the human world, which is Villalu. And Breeden, who has the purest heart ever, he's such a good character, decided to free him and he kind of fell in love with him kind of thing but that just tends to happen to humans that interact with she and so he frees him and he vows to help him get home and along the way they fall in love and have all kinds of crazy adventures because Breeden is an employee of the prince and the king and just betraying him by taking his prized elf is just the worst thing in the world and so they just go they have a lot of crazy adventures and things in order to escape the king and to get setters back home to the fairylands and there's a lot of political intrigue in this book and as i said a lot of romance there's a lot of uh, a, f a fair amount of graphic sex scenes 
in the book, at least the first one. The second one has fewer, but the, the first one has a lot. Um, and it's also, but it, feel, it has a feel of like kind of Lord of the Rings-esque things, only just a lot more romance. If you guys have read The Tale of Baron and Luthien, it has similar uh, themes and plot lines as that. Um, and yeah, it's just, it's a really good book. I mean, it's, it moves quickly. There, it's fairly short, but I enjoyed it a lot. So yeah, I just, I read both of those originally during the summer months and just when it was hot, sunny, and warm outside, and it was just spectacular. Third is snowy. And for snowy weather, I typically go for mysteries. And in particular, I love Dan Brown novels. Um, I read The Lost Symbol, and I just remember really enjoying it, but just curling up with a good mystery in front of, like, particularly at, like, the evening time, get a good fire going, get a nice cup of tea, and it's just the perfect setting for a mystery novel. So I tend to really like reading mysteries during the winter months. Next is Cloudy and Gray. It's cloudy and gray for a large portion of the year where, I'm, where I live because winter lasts a fairly long time. So I read a lot of novels and things during those months, but I particularly read a lot of fantasy. Um, and of course, you know, I love The Realm of the Elderlings and The Lord of the Rings. And so those are the books that I tend to probably have good memories of reading during gray months or gray times. But yeah, I mean, they're some of my favorite books anyway, so I mean, I'll read them whenever. But I think my fondest memories are reading them when it was like cloudy and gray outside. And windy, I tend to go for classics in windy weather, but uh, in particular, I'm gonna probably pick Jane Eyre because of just the setting and the things that happen in it. Um, and then also the Iliad and the Odyssey, particularly the Odyssey because it's about all about Odysseus's adventure to get home and he's on a boat for a large chunk of it. And wind plays obviously probably a big factor in that. So yeah, I guess I'll pick those for the windy weather. Moving on to question two. What is your favorite weather? And I'm gonna give a cop out answer for this. I don't really have a favorite weather. Whenever people ask me what my favorite season is, I always say that I like the beginning of every season because it's something new and everything brings something unique and different. And I'm gonna give you a similar answer here because I like all different kinds of weather for different reasons. Um, they make me feel different things. They make me want to make me experience things in a different way. I don't really have a favorite weather. Yeah, I don't really have a favorite weather. So yeah, I'm just gonna say I like different weathers for different reasons. Number three, what is your favorite reading weather? This I could probably answer better than the last one. I typically like snowy weather or rainy weather because just different settings like in snowy weather um, you can just you know put a fire on and get a nice cup of tea and have some nice low lighting and curl up with a nice book and rainy weather just sitting by a window with the nice natural eerie light shining through and having a nice cup of tea or a hot drink and sitting in a cozy chair with a blanket it's just spectacular. Just the mood and the setting of those types of weather just appeal to me more than other weathers for reading. But as I said, I like reading in all different types of weather. And finally, number four, who do you tag? I'm not really gonna tag anyone. If you haven't done this yet and you Think this is a really cool fun tag consider yourself tagged and feel free to link your video either in the 
the comments or on Twitter and I'll make sure to check it out and see your, how you guys answered because this is a set is really fun and interesting tag. So yeah, uh, that's about all I've got for you today. So as always, feel free to like, subscribe, comment, follow me on social media. I have a Twitter and a Goodreads, which are both linked below. And I'll come back with another video for you guys again soon. Okay, bye.